all right guys welcome back to the channel this is going to be episode 9 of better minecraft in this episode we are going to be focusing mainly on xp farm and farming more books so we can get our diamond armor kitted out our tools kitted out so we can be invincible and indestructible when going against more bosses later down the line but other than that let's get straight into the episode so the first thing on the agenda is going to be get soul stealing and looting for a sword. So I'm going to get to work on that with these two guys here and I'll catch you guys when I get that. Alright, so I got looting three first try basically on this guy. So that is a good start to today's episode. Now we just need soul stealing. So I will get right back to that. Alright, that was pretty quick actually. I only spent like maybe 10 minutes doing this maybe even less but we got soul stealing and we also have looting three so we'll put those on our sword once we make one and we will go hunt for mobs all right i'm back in the deep dark area and what we're going to do is i'm actually going to venture off over here um to the far right because there's some kind of underground dungeon over here as well as an abandoned mine shaft so we're going to go over to these areas to look for spawners. I think we'll probably get some spawners here first, but if we don't, we'll head over to the abandoned mine shaft for sure. But ideally, we either want a zombie spawner or a skeleton one. Um, that would be the best bet. But I will catch you guys when I get over there. All right, we have arrived at our first stop. Just at this dungeon here, and I think we already have a spawner up ahead which is perfect so what we're going to do is kind of farm this spawner here for skeleton souls but before we do that we might as well um, get all the loot around here pretty nice There's a lot of skeletons down here, which is crazy. Ooh, diamonds. Goodies. God apple, too. Ooh, yes, XP bottle. We actually need this XP bottle for actually crafting something, so we are not gonna throw it on ourselves. gonna stow that I am going to put my teleporter back down, just in case. Holy cow, there's too many spawners here. Alright, so we also have a spider spawn in here. It's pretty nice. So I'm not going to destroy these spawners. I'm probably going to keep them here. Um, just in case later down the line I want to farm more spawners. But we will take all the goodies that are in here. Another spawner too, jeez. Spawner heaven up in here. Mm. 
All right, now I'm pretty much going to farm one of these spawners over and over until I get myself a skeleton soul, and then I will catch you guys when I find one. All right, I just got a skeleton soul, thank god. I actually just turned this skeleton spawner into a little mob grinder. Pretty simple box set up here. Typical water drop, come down, drop in, go over. But I literally set this up and then not even a minute later, I get a skeleton soul. So thank God. Thought I was going to have to sit here for 30 minutes to an hour doing this, but uh, looks like I didn't have to. So now we're going to head back to base and we're going to set up a similar thing just like this. But I'll catch you guys back at the base. All right, we're back at base. All that sand I found in the desert while looking through the temples, I turned some of it into sandstone here. Um, I still have more in my box there. But I think we'll clear out this section here on the right and make this our mob grinder. So I'll get straight to doing that. We got a pretty big area cleared out here, so I will get to doing the layout of the mob grinder. All right, so this is the general layout of the mob grinder. So in the middle here is going to be the spawner. I just have a placeholder for dirt right now, but I've uh, dug out four blocks in each direction, and I will also obviously put a top over this um, four blocks high and over. And then we have a cutout here for where the water is going to be placed over here to drag the mobs all the way down here. And then a water source there to drag them in the corner. But this is just the layout for right now. And I will do a time lapse of me building the rest. So now that I got it enclosed, we have the spawner in the middle here. And we're going to take the soul and just right click. And now it turned into a skeleton spawner. So this thing is hot and active. Obviously, we have torches on it so it can't um, spawn anything. But before we go any farther, we're going to put a slab on top so nothing can spawn up there um, for when it's active. So now I'll get back to building the rest.
All right. So I decided to move the mobs from instead of being down low, I actually decided to use somewhat of a water elevator, but not a one shot kill type elevator. Just because when I'm sitting AFK down below, the skeletons don't really like to spawn here. So I'm going to have it so where I AFK on top of the spawner room and then they just float up top and then I kill them here and all their drops come in the chest. So let's see how it turns out. All right, made some minor adjustments for the uh, spawner water elevator system, but it looks like it's working perfectly now. All right, that's our working mob grinder. We can now collect souls pretty easily now. So I have four skeleton souls just on standby if I want to make more spawners later. And also this XP grind is going to help me advance with... Um, being able to put these books together and actually making god tier sets and loadouts. Um, but I think that is pretty much it for this episode. It's going to be a short, simple one, just making this mob grinder. I could spend another hour or so trying to get more books for you guys, but I think I'll do that off camera because this is a lengthy process and it takes quite a while. This mob grinder took a little bit longer than expected just because I was messing around with the water elevator. And instead of using soul sand, I was using soul soil, which are two different things, believe it or not. I didn't realize that, but I ended up fixing it. And now the water elevator works properly. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.